Someone that is in the breakfast industry or someone that is looking to start up a new restaurant that focuses on breakfast food, please pay attention. This has been a pet peeve of mine for 20 years, probably since I was like a teenager. Um, I find it difficult to find two things I want for breakfast in one spot. Most days, I want a good latte and then some kind of breakfast to go with that. And I can't get both. And these are on the days that I actually eat breakfast. If I had a lot of family over, over um, with friends or something, you're trying to kill two birds with one stone. And here's how it kind of maps out. You usually get the place that's got bagels, and they do bagel sandwiches, for example. But I don't like lunch meat on a bagel is too much bread. I wish you would just offer a damn sandwich. Maybe these guys do. I'm just, I pulled them up because I just drove by a, a Brugger's. Um, you know, but this morning's a good example. I'm looking around, trying to figure out where I could get a, a quick bite where I could get two things they wanted. Like, could I get um, a donut and a good latte? I can find donuts that just have coffee, they don't have lattes. Or I can find a place that has lattes, but they don't have any donuts. If they do have donuts or they do have pastries, the pastries suck. Big B here does that. Um, you know, you can get a decent coffee, but their pastries are so-so. You know, you look at the regular breakfast joints, like maybe I want pancakes on a latte. You can't do that. They only have coffee, you know, just regular ass coffee and then breakfast food. God forbid you actually find somewhere that does both, like Panera Bread. Panera Bread's coffee, I'm just wondering, is anyone sitting around actually tasting what those lattes taste like? Um, I, I don't understand what's going on over there. But again, it's a place that you could get a chocolate chip muffy or a cinnamon roll you can get a, a regular breakfast sandwich that's like on a brioche bun that's not always on a goddamn bagel. But everybody does have it all, but they just can't get it right. And I've had this issues with the local places around my house. I just got bagels from a joint, and I'm like, oh, they have a, you know, they do uh, bagels, donuts, and they, you know, the they have a cafe section, right, where they do on their website anyways macchiatos and cafe mocha and i'm like all right cool i'm gonna i'm gonna get a cider mill donut and a cafe mocha this is a powerhouse combo right here food shows up donut you know amazing the coffee what in the hell were they thinking i i realized whoever made this latte was probably never shown how to ever make a latte it tasted like they dumped in regular coffee and then, like, mixed in some milk and some Hershey syrup. And it was, you know, whatever, six bucks or something. And I realized, like, somewhere between the uh, operator, unless they're operator owner, or the operator and the owner, is anyone paying attention to what kind of product they're put, putting out? Because, God, <clears throat> if you actually had a decent latte and the snacks to go with it, you would do significantly more business, but... It does have this issue, particularly when you're trying to make two or three or four people happy and they all got different breakfast tastes. You have to have the coffee component. You have to offer the lattes. And you need to do it all. And if you can do it all, you're going to get more business. You know, here's a place that, again, just does, you know, regular coffee. Why don't I want a latte? with my bagel in the morning. It sounds great. Um, missed opportunity. And even if the places do offer it, they just, they, they are terrible. Oh my God. It's one of those things that at home I can froth milk. I can do two shots of Nespresso, throw in some Ghirardelli syrup. And I actually have a, a fairly decent cafe mocha at home. I don't have no fancy espresso machine. I'm not trained in nothing. My milk frother is not even even for real. It's one of those brebel canister type uh, frothers. And I can make a pretty goddamn decent milk at them. Why can't the breakfast joints do this? Whether you're um, a local breakfast institution or you're a bagel shop or a pastry shop. Um, 
yeah, it's going to take some equipment. Yeah, you're going to have to train somebody on it. Um, and I understand that's a pain. But it's like, how much business are you losing out on? This is why the lines at Starbucks are so long. People want the good lattes. Everyone thinks that people go to Starbucks just, be, just to get the regular coffee. Do you think people are waiting in line 30 minutes for a black coffee? I mean, it, the people that hate Starbucks are always like, oh, you know, Starbucks is so bitter. And I'm like, yeah, I don't drink the Starbucks regular coffee. I usually get lattes. It's That's what I go there for. I, I don't wait in line for any amount of time for black coffee. I can go to Speedway and get a Kona roast to be happy if I just want coffee. But you see how long the lines are at Starbucks. There is a massive opportunity in coffee right now. People are tired of waiting a half an hour. There's not enough Starbucks. Um, the Starbucks food sucks. See, on the other end of things, they got the coffee right, but their food's terrible. Every once in a while, you can get a croissant that's decent and that type of thing. But overall, dude, their bagels around here are like bricks. If you could get a real, like, you know, New York-style bagel and a good latte in one place around here through a drive through window, you would start printing money. So my general advice is to, if you're looking for a business idea, start up a breakfast joint, no matter what it is, donuts or, you know, a real breakfast place like IHOP or... Um, Pastries, doesn't matter what it is, crepes, but you have to have the coffee to go with it. And if you can do that with the drive through window, holy crap, you'll crush it. As much as I love Tim Hortons, right, I think, uh, I'm doing another episode because I had a Dunkin's Donut, Dunkin' Donuts Donut lately, and it was it was garbage. <laughs> it was one of the worst donuts I've had. I'd rather, I'd rather eat them Hostess Donuts. I don't know, those powdered ho ho Hostess Donuts are good. You know what I mean? I'd rather eat those, like, fake-ass donuts from the store than go to Dunkin' Donuts. That's how bad this Dunkin' Donuts was. And it made, me, it made me really appreciate the Tim Hortons donut. The problem is, their mocha... I don't even... Again, it's one of those people that's like, I'm not even sure this is a real mocha. I feel like it's coffee with chocolate syrup in it. It's god-awful. Now, McDonald's McCafe. It's not good. It's like pure sugar. There's so much room in the market right now for a place that can offer donuts or bagels or breakfast and do... The latte, you know, cafe side of things. This is a really, I think this is a tremendous market that's getting missed out on right now. If you look at the lines of Starbucks, you have your answer. So if you're in this market, you know what to do. And if you're trying to get in and open up a new place, you know what to do right now. Bring the good breakfast. Bring the good lattes. The people are going to come. Anyways, if you got any good or bad experiences with what I'm talking about, drop a comment below. Let me know what area you're from and if you got any like local places that are really good. Um, I'd be curious to hear what you have to say. But that's all I got for this one. I'm going to catch you on the next one.